magic trick is kind of about memorization. This is a uh, magic trick that's kind of about memorization. Kind of about focus, and kind of about concentration. Kind of about focus, kind of about concentration. Now, memorization acts have been out of fashion for many, many years. We tried to make our version a little bit less totally cerebral by adding in a nail gun. And memorization acts have been out of fashion for many, many years. We've tried to make our version a little less totally cerebral by adding in a nail gun. <laughs> and I hope you're all aware of how bad nail guns are. They're responsible for about 30,000 emergency room visits a year in the United States. We're all aware of how bad nail guns are. They're responsible for about 30,000 emergency room visits a year right here in the USA. Now that's compressed air over there. And that's uh, compressed air over there. And it's forcing out the nails with a great deal of power. Certainly enough power to go all the way through the board and into another board and fasten them together for construction purposes. Certainly enough power to go all the way through that board into another board and fasten them together for construction purposes. But, but we've thwarted that, that by putting, putting the board on a metal, metal table. table. The, the nails stick out a little bit. bit. Now we're talking about memorization. Now we're talking about memorization. And, and the, the trick looks, looks like, like this. this. Now, now the, the nail, nail gun, gun is loaded, loaded right, right here. here. And, and it's loaded with what's called a string, which, which is two pieces of rigid parallel plastic that hold the nails perpendicular equidistant from one another. When you pull nails out of the string, whenever the nail gun comes toward one of the spaces, it still fires the air and makes the noise but it does not fire a nail. So all I have to do, so all I have to do is memorize this sequence. And I can do this. I can do this. That's the trick. Notice by now that I'm not, I'm not just, just alternating. alternating. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact the, the pattern does, does not repeat, repeat for, the for the whole trick. trick. Now, now you've, you've seen, seen a memorization, a memorization act, act in vaudeville. vaudeville. There, there obviously, obviously would not have been a nail gun. gun. That would have all been done with numbers, with numbers words. words. The, the performer would have gotten maybe 40. 40. Single digit numbers. Single digit numbers. Yelled out by the audience. Memorized, memorized that, that almost random sequence and then written it back perfectly on a chalkboard while reciting and then written it back perfectly on a chalkboard while reciting any Shakespeare, Shakespeare sonnet, sonnet chosen, chosen by, the, by audience. the audience. And, and this, this is the exact, the exact same, same trick. Just like wire walking. Just like wire walking. It's, it's the, the exact, exact same trick, trick if the tight wire is set four feet off the ground. If the tight wire is set four feet off the ground. As if it's set, as if it's set 50, 50 feet, feet off, off the, ground. the ground. And yet, you had a little bit of danger. When you're dealing with real danger. To the real danger that makes the whole show just a little more visceral. Now, most, most memorization acts are magic tricks. They're lies. All magic tricks. They're just lies. We don't, we don't mind you knowing, knowing that. that. Because, because Teller and I believe it is morally wrong to do things on stage that are really too dangerous. It makes, it makes the audience complicit, complicit in unnecessary, unnecessary human, risk. human risk. She doubts about, about this being, being alive. alive.
think that proves right there. Right there.